What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for... Oh, I, I, I don't know. What do we got here? Wonder Woman! Psh, psh. Hey, nerdlings. It's your girl, JLove81, and you're watching Do You Nerd? Hey, what's that? Let's take a look. It's time for a closer up Welcome back, nerdlings, to the toy room. And I seriously don't know where you're going to put these. You've got quite a Wonder Woman collection I already. I love Wonder Woman, and I think Gal Gadot has embodied Wonder Woman perfectly. <laughs> I love the casting, and I think she's done a great job. She looks great, and I am loving all the merchandise. I finally, finally, after it feels like 30-some-odd years, get some Wonder Woman love. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about we start with the small one with Let's the Funko Pop? Let's start with that. Yes. This is from the new movie, Wonder Woman 1984. I got my very first Funko from that movie with her in her gold armor. Well, look how cool that is. That is neat. She comes with a nice little stand that lets her kind of fly a little bit. And she is gold. <laughs> Everything about her is gold. Her whole headpiece, her entire outfit, which covers all of her, much to some probably guys dislike she's hot and she's got her wings out and they are gold they're nice extended wings yeah that's a great display for a funko i i really like that lift mm -hmm. to her with the stand. i do well that is a good segue into the action figure with the gold armor oh my gosh <laughs> look at how golden she is Wonder Woman in the 1984 Golden Armor. This is the DC Multiverse line as put out by McFarlane Toys. On the back of the box, you have the image that matches the collectible trading card inside of Wonder Woman in that Golden Armor. Golden Armor is not something a woman would ever try on. And I was like, great, I have the best opportunity to try this crazy costume. It wasn't the most comfortable, you know, it wasn't like wearing a pajama. In her Golden Armor, Wonder Woman is the ultimate embodiment of power, grace, wisdom, and wonder. An Amazon warrior whose strength defies challenge and whose courage shines. That's pretty cool. I used to collect a lot of the uh, comic book trading cards back in the day so that's kind of a, a neat little addition in there well before i put them on i would just like to point out how amazing these wings are i mean they are it looks like metal jointed you know wings so they've gotten some really really good detail in there on how they look like they're just a bunch of metal joints all together to fully extend or to collapse in on ourselves being a McFarlane toy, there's so much detail. Even though the color doesn't change a lot, except in her bracers, the almost chainmail texture, yeah. especially around her legs. Really impressive. And then it's like a, kind of like with the wings, almost the uh, jointed, the plate design on her arms here, which is really cool. And then the armor itself has almost like a iron plate male armor mm -hmm. look to it and she has a lot of really cool articulation to her her head has nice movement it looks like it is on a ball joint so she can just you know run that head all around in case the the next bothered her oh get rid of that that stress and tension of the day fighting bad guys the shoulders so this is interesting there is good ball movement there, and even though she has these little uh, shoulder guards on, they are flexible enough to allow for her arm to move. Sometimes when toys have that, they don't move right there. A little bit of bicep movement, triple joint in the elbow, wrist spins, and it's got some bend to it, so great range there. She's got the stomach crunches. Actually, she can uh, she can wobble all around. She can do the splits. Lots of movement there. It's stiff, but yet free-flowing. Almost ratcheted feel to it when you move her legs. Yeah, so, so she'll stay in position. Yeah, anywhere that you want to have her kicking that leg out, it's going to stay right there. I like that a lot. Doesn't look like it rounds at the uh, the hip, but that's fine good triple knee movement and then down on the heel the whole ankle turns 
and you can kind of bend that all over. Wow, look at the movement in these wings. So you can flap them all over, and with that ball joint, you can raise them up. You can kind of lower them down a little. So there's a lot of expression that you can do here. She does have some, some tall boots, but it's not hard to make her stand. No, and the other neat thing about her is her armor on her torso is separated so that, you know, it can she can move freely aside from her kind of pants, I guess you would say. So not just in the shoulders, but everywhere that in typical figures, it might be an issue having armor because it's going to restrict movement. You're not seeing that in Wonder Woman. And she does come with a stand so that you can, you know, basically kind of make her fly if you wanted to. Or, if you didn't want her to do that, there is just a peg on the stand that she can just stand on. Just to stand up? Nice. I guess her and Angel would get along fine. Or since this is more metallic, maybe the, she needs to wait for him to become Archangel. The name Angel no longer applies. Kind of chillax. <laughs> <laughs> You see when she's like this, she just looks ready to be like a classic car hood ornament. So what are your final thoughts on her? Um, I am really pleased with her. I really like all the detail everywhere on her. I never got that far reading the comics if, you know, in the, for her to have the gold armor in the comics. The only thing I do not like about this figure is honestly the face. Well, the way that they have done the mask or the helmet around her face, it looks her face looks very swollen or puffy. So it doesn't have that nice slim angular look that Gal Gadot actually has in her own real face. So that's the only complaint I have about this figure. Well, I believe you had another figure. I do. I have her in her normal outfit. <laughs> From Amazon princess to the world's greatest warrior, Wonder Woman is at the height of her power, but living a quiet life as a Smithsonian curator, Diana Prince. Her compassion for mankind is strong despite man's flaws, but now she must again draw on her incredible strength, courage, and wisdom to battle her greatest foe, the cheetah. Another nice solid thick card with the image matching the back of the box, and this is a great picture of Wonder Woman. I mean, you really get that full look. Oh yeah, perfect shot of her there. She comes with her lasso in two different positions. So it's in the already roped up position and you can hang it off of her belt, which is a really cool touch. Or you can have it where she's basically getting ready to lasso someone and she can hold it in her hand and kind of, you know, be throwing it. We're probably never going to get another chance to do something like this again. Tell me the truth. I kind of have to pee, but this armor won't come off. <laughs> now, the neat thing is, is she pretty much has all the exact same articulation that the other figure has. Yeah, good uh, ball joints in the shoulder, in the waist, uh, head movement slightly restricted because of her hair. Uh, of course, all the leg movement and arm movement. The detail on her is really great. Yeah, I really so like colorful. the detail they've done down on the boots where the straps holding the armor of her boots on is, you know, that, a different color. Um, I haven't really seen that a whole lot in some of the other figures. I'm not going to lie, all of this red and gold in her boots, it feels like she robbed them from Tony Stark. <laughs> <laughs> I want one. No. And this one comes with a base, so she stands up a lot easier than trying to make her balance. I'm very, very pleased with this one. I think they did a good job with the face. It looks like her, so I'm excited. Look at that sassy butt sticking out there. <laughs> She's got a booty on her. With any final thoughts, I also want to know, which do you prefer? Classic Wonder Woman or Gold Armor? Honestly, I always prefer Classic Wonder Woman. I think it looks really good. But getting to see the gold armor up close, I actually like it a lot better than I thought I would. Seeing all the pictures and the, the toys in their boxes, I was not a fan of the gold armor until I got her out. And I was like, okay, that's kind of cool looking. I like the wings. 
But I'm always going to be partial to the, the, I guess, the new classic Wonder Woman <laughs> outfit. And finally, oh, that's a big box. This is Barbie. Antiope, the general of the Amazon women. This is a Barbie figure. Yes. And you don't have too many Barbie figures, dolls in your collection. I think it's mostly the Wonder Woman line that has come out. I do, yes. I mo it's mostly just the Wonder Woman line. And pretty much as of right now, there's only a few that I'm missing. There's a actual Wonder Woman on her horse. And then there's Queen Hippolyta on her horse. I'm slowly but surely getting all of the figures. Now, that's the main reason that you picked her up, then, just Basically. to kind of complete that? Basically, the main reason. I mean, I did like Antiope. I thought she was cool. Uh, she's a really fun general. She trained Wonder Woman and everything. And let's face it, we all love Buttercup. <laughs> As you wish, I will get all the rest of the figures. She is a very good, important part of Wonder Woman. So that's why I do want her not just for the collection, but because she did mean a lot to her. So, I mean, that's where she got her crown in the first place. So, but she's really neat. She does have some really good movement, especially for a Barbie. I wish my Barbies were like this. This would have been the kind of Barbies I wanted as a kid to play with. <laughs> Obviously, a lot of turn and twisting in the head. So, you know, get all those kinks out of there. And in the shoulder, some uh, up and down motion back and forth. The elbows have a good clicky motion as you place the arm back. The wrists, they can turn and they can bend. Very nice there. Makes it a lot easier to pose. The waist, no twisting or bending at the waist or in the chest, but the legs do come up so she can be sitting down. And she can do the splits, she can kick, do all of her exercises. She could also get that knee up there and Blood ow! Blood am! Boom! And nothing in the ankle. I did notice, though, uh, there's like a bit of fabric coming up out of her boots. That's a nice extra touch. That is a nice extra touch. And, you know, I do like all of the, the fun detail they have all over her. You know, she's got her quiver with her arrows, which they do not come out. Oh, that's a shame. I know, that is I'm a kind sucker of a for shame. stuff in a sheet that comes out. Um, on her, uh, I guess, armored skirt, if you will, she's got her extra knives in her belt and then on the, the outside of the skirt part, which I thought was, you know, a really neat touch. Then you've got the typical, you know, fun Barbie hair and everything. And I guess something I never paid attention to in the movie is I didn't realize she just basically had a top knot of hair. And the rest of it was just all cut off at the neck. Yeah, I don't think I paid attention to that either. No, I guess I just all thought it was just this big long ponytail thing she had. And the other neat thing is uh, her bow is actually pliable. Oh, see, that makes it even worse that the I arrows know. don't come out. And she will hold on to her bow. And she does come with a stand. So you kind of go put her leg in the stand there. Which is a lot better than some. I've seen them kind of go in between the leg and kind of... Rather uncomfortable. Cradle. <laughs> cradle there. So really neat. A lot of really good movement. A lot of fun articulation to her. And I'm I'm really pleased with her. I think she looks really good. And, I mean, she does really look like the Princess Bride herself. So I think they did a good job there, too. I have to admit, I really, really enjoy the fact that Barbie is making Wonder Woman figures like this. Yeah. Barbie... Wonder Woman, I mean, that's that's like a perfect match. And the fact that they do it such justice is really great. Well, and like I said, I didn't play with Barbie as a child just because I wasn't interested in just, you know, dressing up Barbie and going and doing all of her many, many jobs. Because let's face it, Barbie can't seem to hold a job down. Oh, gosh. <laughs> but if I had Barbies like this or my other Wonder Woman Barbies, I would have loved those and I would have totally got those and played with those. She also does come with a certificate of authenticity. That's good because I totally thought she was the fake Antiope. The, the fake Antiope or fake Barbie line. <laughs> Burby. Burbies. Well, there you have it, nerdlings. Quite a selection of Wonder Woman. Uh, a couple of things from the past, the previous Wonder Woman. And a little bit of excitement for Wonder Woman 84. Nerdlings, please give the video a like if you happen to like it, and especially 
start dropping some comments down below on anything Wonder Woman related. Do you collect the toys? Did you read any of the comics? What do you think of the movies? The original <laughs> Wonder Woman movie uh, with, with Gal, and what about the sequel? Have you checked that one out yet? What did you think of, you know, the Justice League movie? Stuff like that. Anything Wonder Woman related, we would love to hear it. Please let us know if you picked up any of these characters, and maybe you went for the full Barbie line as well, because you gotta have them all, right? I do. <laughs> I do got to have them all. Hinted, hinted. <laughs> Make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell to see if she ever gets all of them. <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, because you might see pictures of all the Barbies at some point. And go over to TeePublic because we have merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh, and if we like it... We nerd it. And that's no wonder. <laughs> oh, broke her back. Jeez. Ow! And she's eating beans for dinner. Kinky. Oh. Stop dancing. Me? No, her. Oh. <gasps> Bullet stops! Bullet stops! Tink! 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 Tinkerbell? No. Ding! She could do the Tinkerbell thing. Bing! <laughs> I am Iron Woman. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's not fair. She did get killed and fell over. Dancing time. <laughs> Man, she's really jamming. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> and then what sealed the cake, or sealed the deal, icing on the cake, is that Deadpool favorite house is Hufflepuff and he always says if I were gonna be over there I'd be in Hufflepuff. Stop videoing me! Okay. See, just like that.